Hello. Sometimes people, uh, when they were not married for a long time, think of annulment of marriage rather than divorce, uh, usually in an attempt to avoid complications connected to the very idea of divorce. And sometimes, though not always and not very often, it even might be a good idea. But most of the time, divorce, divorce uh, filed uncontested, uh, like on a friendly basis, might be a much better idea. And this is what we are discussing today, uh, the difference between annulment of marriage and divorce. First of all, uh, let's start with the obvious thing. Uh, divorce at least in Canada and Quebec, uh, cannot be not given in the sense that if you want to divorce, if you don't want to continue to be a husband or a wife of that particular person, uh, there is no way to force you to stay in marriage. So if you apply for divorce, eventually you will get your divorce. The question is more about uh, some accompany, accompanying issues uh, like uh, child custody, if you have a child, uh, child support payments, uh, spousal support, if any, uh, partition of your property like family patrimony or uh, partnership of a kiss, uh, or um, like whatever is connected to the idea of matrimonial regime, whether it was a Quebec one, or maybe you signed a prenuptial or postnuptial agreement, a marriage contract, or maybe you were married in a different jurisdiction, it all might affect the situation. So if you are there, a consultation with a lawyer might be very much needed and advised. Uh, but still, like divorce itself is not a question. Uh, the issues following the divorce, the consequences, usually are in question before a judge. Not the same when it comes to uh, annulment of marriage, because if when it comes to divorce, if you want to be divorced, you will be. But if you want to annul your marriage, meaning if such a decision is uh, made, is if such an order is granted by the court, uh, annulment would mean that your marriage never existed, that it was null from the beginning, uh, which is uh, an interesting idea sometimes when you think that if you don't undergo through a divorce proceeding but through the annulment, then you won't owe child support uh, or you won't need to discuss child custody if anything usually when it comes to a child it's not that simple and it's not about an almond uh, and even if your marriage is annulled but you, you had a child there will be still a question of child custody and child support but spousal support might be more precarious in that situation and uh, there will be normally no partition of family property because there was no family property. So this is the reason why some people think of uh, uh, an annulment as a better solution than divorce. But the annulment as opposed to divorce is uh, not guaranteed because uh, you cannot simply come to the judge and say, okay, I changed my mind, I no longer want to be with that person. For that, you have a divorce proceeding. Uh, annulment is usually connected to the idea that you married by mistake, uh, so that you didn't have this common intent at the time of marriage to continue as a, as a couple. Uh, for example, and if you apply for annulment, you will have to prove that. You're Testimony usually is not enough. Uh, for example, uh, the other person only married you for the reason of immigration uh, without any intent at the time to be, at least for, for some time, to be a true family with you. And if that is the case, for example, if there was some uh, fraudulent complot with somebody else, well, you, you might try. 
but again, it's hard to prove usually. And as the courts showed many times, if the other party would prove that you knew that this was an arrangement implying the immigration, then uh, normally, usually, it's not enough to ask for annulment. Uh, maybe one of you pretended to be a very different person, like different name, different status, uh, sometimes, but it's harder, uh, of different financial situation. Uh, so if later the deceived person can show that, okay, I didn't know that he was a convicted criminal. I didn't know that he was a like, sexual predator uh, or child molester. Uh, I didn't know that he was like this deeply undead or something like that. But usually something mm, something like really egregious. Not, not that, well, I, I thought he or she would speak French or English or Spanish better than it appeared later. Uh, it should be something that if you knew, or if the other person knew at the time, you or the other person would not even get into this marriage in the first place. So it should be some crucial kind of information. And again, the one who is applying for annulment should prove that that was the case and that information was really not available, that the person was really deceived. Again, it's not exactly uh, this or that reason, but this kind of reason, uh, that but for your true belief that something was true, you would not even get into that marriage. Uh, usually it's not enough to show that, okay, I didn't know that he or she had children, or I didn't know that he or she had uh, some particular hereditary disease or something like that. Uh, again, it should be something like really showing that the other person either had no intent to establish, even if for a short period of time, a real family, and there will be a question what is accepted and understood by both of you as a real family at the time, or uh, some information was hidden or misrepresented, to the effect that if you knew, or if the other party knew, there would be no marriage. So as you can see, it's harder to, uh, to go for an element, but it does not end there. For example, maybe you were deceived in the first place, but then your marriage lasted for, I don't know, like six months, a year, so uh, there might be an argument that maybe you were deceived in the first place, but later, when you realized what's, what, what was going on, you decided to continue to be in this marriage anyway, and voila, divorce, not annulment. So for annulment, usually such a marriage should be really, really quick, like really short one. Uh, possible to go for annulment, again, there is no guarantee as opposed to divorce. With divorce, you will be divorced. With annulment, not so sure. But it's possible to try if you were like completely drunk and it was a, sp a spontaneous decision in some place where you could be just registered as a couple, as a married couple right away. Uh, then, like, couple of weeks later, uh, if you just was running away from that the moment you got sober, uh, you can try to show that there was no actual consent on your part. So there was no marriage in the sense that, again, there was no intent, actual intent, to get into that marriage. But again, if you had a history of previous relationship, which might be interpreted as preparation for marriage, then again, it would be harder. So, uh, to sum up, uh, when it comes to divorce, uh, if you want a divorce, you will have a divorce eventually. Uh, mostly the divorce proceedings are not dealing with the question of divorce itself, but with the questions of uh, 
money, basically, property, and if there is a child, child custody. But again, the question of child custody and child support is there even if there was no marriage or civil union, because still, you, you can be parents if you were never married. So that's sort of a separate issue. But when it comes to divorce particularly, at least the question of partition of property and maybe spousal support is uh, the question or are the questions that usually come before a judge. Uh, annulment, on the contrary, if it is granted, uh, just leaves aside all those questions about partition of family property because there was no family property. Uh, but it's hard to argue, it's hard to prove, and you have a very limited period of time, usually, normally, but again, well, if you have particular situation, then you should consult your particular lawyer. This is just general information. But, well, in general, mm, the window for applying for annulment is rather narrow. Here it is. Thank you, and have a nice day.